Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So in our group, UK Cricket Creators, every month we do a free to attend Dreaming Tree event and this month we are doing the beautiful balloon. So I'm gonna take you through how you can get it cut ready because you do need to have all the pieces cut in time for the event. This is the beautiful balloon SVG and I will link to it in the description below. You can also find it in a bundle and don't forget that if you spend over $9.99, you'll get this month's free bundle, which is this beautiful set here. You've got the windmill, you've got the tulip card and you've got the wishing well card as well. They are really beautiful. I can't wait to do the windmill. Don't forget to type in free gift in the coupon area. And just to show you that the bundle this is in is the balloon festival bundle. So whichever one you select, you're then going to download. I always come to my download area and click on the three dots. And I always select show in folder. I can open up the file, select SVG. Here we've got our perforated score lines, which I keep as cut lines, or in the extras, you've got these solid score lines, which will show as cut lines and you will need to change them to score lines. I always work with the perforated lines and keep them as a cut because even though it takes a little bit longer, I actually prefer it because you get a nice cleaner fold. I'm just going to hold down my shift key and my arrow key to select all of my pieces and I'm going to copy them and I'm going to go to my pictures and just paste them in my pictures so they're easy for me to find. I can then open up design space, go to upload, upload image, browse and I can then start bringing in each of those pieces. They are normally named and I like to keep them in the image names and I also give them a tag of dreaming tree as well so that they're easy to find and we can then upload and we can go and get the rest of the pieces as well. So in total there are 11 pieces to this file. So I'm just going to select them all and insert them to my canvas. So we've got all our pieces and if we just select one of them you can see we've got a basic cut which is our score line so they'll either be solid or perforated and then we've got our actual cut. So with our score lines, if they're perforated, you can either keep them as a cut or a score. I personally recommend keeping them as a cut. If they are a solid line, then you will need to change from a cut to a score. If you're going to cut everything in 12 by 12, then at this point, all you're gonna do is attach all of those score lines or perforated cuts to their pieces. So for example, with this one, I'm just going to attach. I'm gonna do that for all of them and then go to make it. But I'm gonna show you how we can actually make some of them A4 appropriate so that we're reducing down the amount of 12 by 12 we need to use because not everyone has an infinitive of 12 by 12s. So first of all, we're going to look at these pieces here. So these are the glitter accent pieces. So if we look at the original picture, you'll see that all these pieces here that are in gold glitter are these pieces here. And they're already set to A4 and they've got no lines attached to them. So we don't need to do anything with those. We've then got elements white glitter and those are the swan pieces. And they have got score lines. So again, I keep mine as cut because I'm using the perforated lines. If you're using the solid lines, you'll need to change them to a score. And then you simply select both the lines and the cut and you attach them together. We've then got elements striped pattern. And if we look at the balloon, it's this kind of I can't think, sashy part of the balloon. So it's the sashy fabric, if you like. Again, they have got scores. I am using the perforated lines, so I keep them as a cut and I'm just gonna attach them because they are also already set to A4. We've then got elements cricket. 
And if we look at our balloon, they encompass this area here, so the top area here, and also this part of our balloon. Again, I'm going to keep those as perforated cuts and attach them together because again, that is already set to A4. If we look at the main orange pattern, which is also set to A4, we can see that that is going to be the bottom of our basket. And we are going to see this area here, but we won't see this base piece. Again, it's set to A4, so I'm just going to attach those perforated cuts. So if we look at the panel's yellow pattern, they form part of our pattern pieces on our balloon and also the beaks on our swans as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this and I'm gonna duplicate it three times. With that first duplicate, I'm going to straight away take away those cut or score lines. So I'm just gonna delete it. And then gonna select the cut. I'm gonna come down to my contour. And I'm going to contour away everything but those swan heads because I am actually gonna do that in a different cardstock. and I can then move them over to this area. Again, if I select one of the duplicates, at the moment I've got both my score slash perforated cut lines selected and my basic cut. If I use my layers panel, I can just select the basic cut, open up my contour. I'm going to remove the swan's heads because I don't need those. And I'm also going to take away these two pieces and this piece as well. If I then select my perforated cuts or my solid score, I can then open up my contour and I can then just contour away those pieces that I don't need. And then of course I can attach those together. If I then select this one here, I can use my layers panel to select just the cut, open up my contour, I can remove these pieces and of course my swan beak slash head pieces. That leaves me with those pieces and if I select my perforated cuts slash solid score lines I can then contour away these ones. I can then attach those together. I'm just gonna change the color on the swan's head so that they go onto a separate layer. And then these I'll be able to cut out in A4. I've then got my red pattern panel. So if we look at the image, they consist of this bottom area here and also the main panels as well. So again, if I duplicate this, I'm going to duplicate it three times. I can first of all select the actual cut, go to my contour, and I'm going to contour away all the main balloon pieces. So I'm just left with the basket pieces and also the little flower area as well. If I select my perforated cut slash solid score lines, I can then go to my contour and contour away those ones that I don't need. I can then attach those together. And of course, if I want to change the color, I can, so that they don't go on the same mat as my pattern panels. Again, with my two pattern panels, if I want to change those to A4, I'm just gonna select on the basic cut first of all, open up my contour, contour those away because we've already separated them and then I'm just going to contour away those pieces. That then makes this A4. If I then select my perforated cut slash solid score lines, I can then contour away those pieces that I don't need. 
I can then attach those together. And then with this one, if we select the cut, open up our contour, contour away these pieces. Again, we can select the solid score lines slash perforated cuts and contour away the pieces we're not going to use. And we can then attach those together. We've then got these two pieces here. This is a nice easy one. So you've got a group of three and one on its own. So with that one, we're just going to duplicate it. Place those side by side because they are exactly the same. That's not always the case. But in this case, they are exactly the same. So we can then attach those two pieces together. Once we've attached these, because they're all the same and we need four on two sheets of A4, we can simply duplicate that and get rid of this one. So nice and easy for this one. And this is the underneath area of our main balloon. So this is what our red panels are going to go onto. And if we look, you may just see a tiny little piece peeking through, but really you shouldn't be able to see that cardstock. But I always choose a corresponding cardstock because occasionally you can just see it peeking through. They are then A4 ready. We've then got our last two pieces. So with this one here, we're going to duplicate it. And with the duplicate, we're just going to get rid of that cut. So just delete it. And if we then select the actual cut, we're going to open up our contour and remove that. And with this one, if we select the cut and open up our contour, we can then remove these elements here. So these elements here, if we go look at the photo, create part of our balloon threads. So you'll see them on the inside of the basket, but the outside will be covered with our gold glitter or whatever color you choose to use but you will see those thread pieces on the inside of the basket. These pieces are then the main part of our balloon. And again, we're not really going to see them, but you might see a little bit peeking through. So we need three of these. And again, these three are all identical. So I'm going to duplicate this one. and then attach all of those together so they become A4 appropriate. And then with this one, if I select the actual cut pieces and go to my contour, I can contour that piece away. And then if I select my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines, I can then contour away this area here. We can then attach those two pieces together and they are then A4 ready. So not a very complicated one. There's a little bit to do to get it A4 ready, but not a huge amount. As in I say, if you're gonna cut it out in 12 by 12, then it's really nice and easy. Just remember, if you're going to score, you either want to use the solid score lines, or if you're going to score the perforated score lines, you need to change them to a score. And if you're gonna use the perforated cuts as cuts, just leave them as a cut, but no matter what you do, you need to attach them. So you must make sure they're attached to their base piece. You can then go to make it and cut all of your pieces out and we'll see you at the event. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.